So what's the max number of databases that you recommend for a single availability group? And what are the warnings for exceeding this number? Google for what not to do availability groups. There's a fantastic post by Warwick Rudd that explains the problem with worker thread exhaustion. It's what not to do availability groups. And he explains what happens uh, when you add too many databases in. Because of that, my general guideline for folks, I almost said rule, but guideline, is if you're going to have more than 100 databases on a server on one primary replica, then you probably want to think about either splitting that SQL server up between many, like using virtualization, or you probably want a different high availability and disaster recovery plan. Because the number of databases you have is only going to get worse. It's only going to get higher over time. So even when you're already at 100, you may hit problems with worker thread exhaustion. There are scenarios where you don't. Like if you have a thousand databases that aren't doing anything, you may be able to pull it off. But the more active the databases are, the more you're going to have problems with that, as Warwick Rudd explains. Just a really good post.